hello everyone thank you very much for clicking on this video and welcome to my channel my name is Reza and today I have a very cool watch to review after almost six months of usage this is Seiko SNZF17 also known as sea urchin this watch is one of low-end uh, automatic watch by Seiko Seiko 5 Sport as what you can see on the dial so this watch is considered as a sport slash dive watch uh, with a unidirectional bezel and today I would love to review this watch um, I have been using this watch for the past almost six months and almost every day and um, I think it's a good time to share my thoughts, give some pros and cons, and how do I feel. So this, um, in general, uh, Seiko SNZ uh, F17 has two versions. One is the K version, the other one is the J version. Here I have K version, which is um, created in Malaysia. So they say the Japanese version is it was it's made in Japan. To be honest, I saw both of the watches side by side, the K version and the J version. I really couldn't understand what's the difference. So the, the price difference, it, it's about $20 to $30. Um, different difference between uh, the K version and the J version. So I think it would be better actually you save your money for maybe a cool strap for this watch. Um, I purchased this watch about $120 two dollar with the shipping and um, this watch uh, is, is, is quite a good watch and I've been using it under the shower um, I mean I, I wore it when I was saying shower swimming um, snorkeling and uh, diving once up to 15 meter I will share the rest of the information down in the video as well so this watch is 42 millimeter in diameter 44 and a half uh, with the crown and the crown guard 13 millimeter is the thickness of this watch and lock to lock 49 millimeter the lock width is 22 millimeter when the strap goes down when the bracelet goes down um, it will be 20 millimeter uh, this watch is about 150 grams so as what you can see this watch is is heavily inspired by Rolex Submariner from the look from the bracelet and everything however it's not a homage watch so why I say it's not a homage watch because it doesn't try to be Submariner but is heavily inspired by Submariner which is a good thing actually um, this watch uh, as what you can see has a very simple and standard Seiko bracelet with push button and safety solid links with open end links uh, this watch is mostly brushed with a little bit of uh, polished polishing on this side honestly the fit and finish of this watch is, is really good and it doesn't really uh, as you can see my hand is quite hairy it's not, it's not quite hairy it's really hairy but it doesn't really uh, like pinch the skin or pull the hair or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about it. Um, let's talk about the, the movement. This watch, uh, the movement is 7S36, 23 joules. Um, this watch beats 21,600 vibration per hour and it has about 40 hours of power reserve. Uh, the accuracy of this watch in the in the manual it says minus 20 seconds to plus 40 seconds per day it's not really good but in a day-to-day -day usage honestly I get a very very good accuracy of, of about 10 seconds 9 to 10 seconds per day um, so I think it's quite acceptable as you can see the hour markers everything is applied this watch has day date function and has great loom and has Seiko Sumo 
hand as well so it's quite nice uh, this watch has a see-through case back and that was my main point for actually getting this watch because I have other dive watches in my collection but I never had a watch that has see-through case back so I wanted to have a see-through case back and the movement is not really beautiful but it's, but it's okay I mean it's nice to behold um, let me show you the loom now we are in daylight so I, I'm not sure if you can see or not give me a second let me use my torch As you can see, even on the daylight, the loom is quite good. Okay, so this watch is, um, it doesn't have uh, hacking seconds or screw down, um, screw down crown, unfortunately. And it doesn't have hand winding. So uh, when you pull out the crown, the second hands, so uh, it doesn't stop you can manual wind this watch so if the watch is dead you need to shake it a few times until it starts working uh, 100 meter water resistance I've been using this watch as what I said on the shower almost every day um, swimming maybe 20 times in the past six months and snorkeling two times diving once and nothing happened to this watch this is still like the first day something about this watch which you can expect at this price point is the bracelet the bracelet honestly is not really the highest highest quality but it's okay it has a quiet play as well you can see Uh, what else should I say okay so one of the things that I don't like about this watch which I never had this issue with other watches of mine is a bracelet uh, um, sorry um, the, uh, the clasp actually uh, the clasp um, it happened two times that it opened so like maybe I didn't like close it perfectly or something so it suddenly opened um, I don't know maybe I mistakenly push it which I don't think so because if you press one the other one doesn't the other one need to be pressed as well but it just comes out of my hand um, the other thing that I want to highlight is the bezel the bezel is an aluminum bezel and is very stiff maybe it's just my unit I'm not sure but As so you can see, it's really tough to use. I mean, compared to other watches, it's not that good. But of course, at this price point, it is what you get. What else? Okay, so this watch, this watch is very, very versatile. Um, you can wear this watch with shorts, jeans, and almost any clothes. Uh, because is black dial with black bezels um, you can wear it with most of the clothes out there um, of course not with a tuxedo or a very formal dress but with jeans shorts sweater anything you can fit it it's, it's, re it's really nice you can match with most of the clothes that you have um, okay so I, I, I really love dye watches I have uh, Rolex Submariner, I have uh, Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 um, But why did I buy this watch? As what I mentioned, um, of course I wanted a watch that has a see-through case back I wanted a, a better watch and uh, so you may ask so why I didn't go for SKX uh, models Okay, SKX is actually is a pure dive watch is a true dive watch this is more of a sport watch that has a great water resistance 
and of course a unidirectional of Um If you are really really into dive watch, you want only a dive watch, you need to go with the SKX version. SKX 007 and 009. Um, this watch is okay as a daily watch, as a sport watch, as what the name says, Seiko Sport, Seiko 5 Sport. And um, and I think uh, one of the things that I like about this watch more than SKX is the hand. The hand of this watch, in my opinion, is more beautiful than SKX. So that was one of the reasons that I chose this watch. And of course, it is cheaper than SKX. Um, I give you a wrist shot as well. My wrist is very, very small, but it still looks quite good. And the glare, as what you can see in my back, there is window, is a quite large window. Um, the glare sometimes can be annoying, but in this price point, it's quite acceptable. As what you can see, there is a Seiko logo here as well. One of the thing, as what you can see, if you are a desk diver, if you wear this watch you go to the office or you use it as a daily watch you can see it gets scratched quite fast actually on the third day of using this watch I notice here is full of scratch so please expect a lot of scratches on the glass so in the next few days I will do some review um, more of a comparison uh, actually between this watch and Rolex Submariner they are very similar in look but of course the character is totally different um, by the way this is my very first video in YouTube I'm so sorry if the quality of production is not that great of course I will try to improve it as well if you have any question anything about this watch please write in the comment, comment box. I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And um, I think that's it. See you in the next video. And thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. Bye.